morning, everybody. I hate saying anything other than good morning at the start of these vlogs, but you know, sometimes it just isn't morning. Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I just got out of work. I'm heading to Vaughn's just to pick up some stuff. I don't want to do a full food shopping right now, so I'm just getting what I need for the next couple days. And then I'm just gonna go home. Had a long day, looking forward to uh, not doing much. Sorry for the, the super confusion of yesterday. Um, my video just wouldn't upload. I found out later that night that my hard drive was actually completely full and the computer like couldn't, couldn't do anything. I couldn't even open Chrome, that's how full it was. But I deleted a lot of stuff and now everything should be good. And I got the video up, but it was late, so I figured that that would be the video for the next day. Um, if that makes any sense, so Kind of skipped a day, but I still uploaded that YouTube problems video, so I'm not gonna skip a day in the count though because I, I Think of that as like a count of how many videos I've made not like how many days. I don't know guys This pumpkin patch sign has gotten upgraded. Look at that. It's like real deal, but they've added the corn maze sign so still says coming soon They've got some pretty solid signs here, too. Pumpkin patch. And that's the corn maze. I've already showed you guys this. I found the pumpkins on the highway. Can you even see that? Well, that's them. That's a bunch of pumpkins. All right, I'm gonna get into an accident, so BRB. All right, guys, I'm home now. I changed. It's time to eat dinner. Um, three quick points. One. My apartment is getting disgusting. Um, I haven't cleaned it in a really long time just because I don't, I really don't know. I've been busy, maybe. I'll say that, I guess. But it's getting to the point where I need to clean it. Um, so I'm gonna do that tonight. The second thing is that I haven't done the dishes in, I don't even know when. So I'm not gonna force myself to do all of them today because that'll make me really sad, but I am going to try to do a lot of them. No, not even that. Why did I just say that? I don't want to do a lot of them. I'm gonna to try to do some. Maybe like, set a goal, I don't know. It's dishes, I just need to do them. Third thing, I'm wearing pink pants. Uh, I don't even know why I have these. I've never worn them before in my life. The only time I was planning on wearing them was when I went to Vegas, but I didn't. So, first time that I'm wearing pink pants. Oh man, I look. I look like a loser. But right now, I'm going to make some, bam, tortellini with chicken and prosciutto inside. Prosciutto, I kind of just turned that into a different word. Uh, I'm gonna make that. I also got some chicken, if I need anything else in there. And that's it. So, stay tuned. You know, it's just one of those days. I just don't feel like doing anything. Which sucks, because I have so much to do. This house is a mess. Alright, I think I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna go hard. And then maybe I can actually film like an apartment tour. I've been wanting to do that for a while, but like, it's a mess in here. Oh man, I guess I'll just clean. I'm gonna do this a little differently, because I don't want to show you guys me cleaning again. That's gonna be wicked boring. So, what I'm gonna do is, right now I'm sad, because my apartment's such a mess. When I snap my fingers, I will instantly be happy, Mike, and my apartment will be beautifully clean. But right now I'm pissed, so hopefully this works. On the count of three. One, two, three. All right, well that didn't work. I cleaned most of my apartment, but I um, didn't finish. So this is what I did. I cleaned off the futon um, that area a little bit. Cleaned this table off, which is awesome. And cleaned the counter a little bit, got the trash and recycling organized, but I didn't, I didn't do the dishes. Um, I didn't move this thing out of the way. And that's all my laundry that I have to do tomorrow. And down that hallway looks like World War Three. It's pretty late and I really don't want to keep going, so I can just finish this tomorrow. Something that I do want to bring up in today's vlog are my impressions with the new Group Love album. So for those that you don't that don't know or haven't been watching my videos recently, 
Um, Group Love came up out with a new album called Big Mess. Looks like this. Um, and there's a link in the description to Amazon if you want to buy it. Um, I got it a few days ago. I've been listening to it like crazy. Um, let me preface this with whenever I get an album for the first time, I have my system. I listen to it once through without thinking about anything. I just hear it on the surface for what it is. Then when it plays through a second time, I listen to it a little bit more in-depthly. I think I critical listen slightly. Slightly. I don't go very much into detail. I'm just looking for um, songs I like, uh, certain things that I like that happen, themes, any lyrical thing that goes on, whatever. Third time I do that again. Fourth time listening through, now I'm really getting into it. I'm seeing if any of the songs are related. I'm looking for an overall theme of the album. Um, I'm looking at the songwriting techniques that they used. I'm listening to chord changes. I'm hearing the melodies. I'm really in-depth, in-depthly? Is that's not a word. I'm really listening carefully to everything that they do. And by the fifth playthrough, I am scrutinizing them. I am listening for every little possible thing. And by doing this, it really allows me to get the most out of an album. Um, like, perfect example, when I first listened to the Pink Floyd album, Wish You Were Here, um, I thought it was a great album. But when I listened to it over and over and over again, I discovered that it was one of my favorite albums of all time, right under Dark Side, just because of everything that's going on in it and stuff I wouldn't have caught if I just listened to it on the surface. So that's how I do it. And there's some albums where I fall more in love with them as I keep going, and there's some albums that I learn to hate as I keep doing this. So what did I think of Group Love's Big Mess? Well, let's talk about the good songs or I shouldn't say good songs, let me talk about the top songs, in my opinion. This is in no particular order. Well, it's in order in which they appear on the album. Uh, Welcome to Your Life, Do You Love Someone, Standing in the Sun, Enlighten Me. Those are all real top songs. Their four songs right out of the gate are powerful, um, and that's really good. I thought it was um, slightly overwhelming at first. I thought this was going to be just like their debut, where every song was a success. And that's what it was sounding like. Uh, good Morning, pretty good. Took me a couple listens to really grow into that one, though. Um, wasn't my favorite from the beginning. Spinning, I thought, was an amazing song. Um, I Once I hit track six and Spinning came on and I listened to the whole thing, I was like, damn, this album is really good. Um, because they had Welcome to Your Life, Open It, which I wouldn't have done, to be honest. It, well, maybe. I don't know. It's hard to tell, because that was such a powerful song. Putting it in the lead-off spot is tricky, because you're, you're raising everyone's expectations. Like, oh shit, this better be a good album. But at the same time, if you put it further back, if it's a really crappy album, they'll hear that, and it'll kind of give them some, some energy to finish off the album. So I don't know if I agree with putting that in the first spot. Um, but the top six songs, overall, very good. Good Morning, eh, it grew on me, um, but very good. Now, Cannonball is when it started to go, mm. Cannonball is a good high energy song, but it was a little bit too much for me. It was intense, it was very intense, and I felt like it was just a straight line of too much, you know? It was peaking throughout. Not, not like peaking, like the sound quality was bad, just every, the energy level was peaking, if that makes sense. Traumatized, did not like that song. Uh, Heart of Mine, eh. And then Don't Stop Making It Happen was pretty good, very repetitive. And then Hollywood, I was on the fence about. So, my overall thoughts about this album. Was it good? Yes. Was it their best? Hell no. Uh, do I recommend it? Yeah. For group love fans, uh, indie fans, alternative fans, um, I do recommend a purchase. And a listen through all the way, a few times. But my ranking of group love albums um, stands currently as number one, uh, their debut, Never Trust a Happy Song. Number two, Big Mess. And number three, being Spreading Rumors. Spreading Rumors really hit me 
on the wrong side. When I first heard that album, I was disgusted by it. I like didn't want to listen to Group Love anymore when I heard that album because it was so different. Their debut was so powerful. It was so raw and fresh, and every song felt like a song that someone wrote and was honestly expressing their opinion. Not opinions, but their emotion. And that's why I really love Group Love. And this album does that justice, but near the end it kind of fell apart. So I think if they just restructured it a little bit, it could have been better. But some of the songwriting did seem forced. All right, I could talk about this for literally hours. Um, if you want to hear more of my thoughts, just let me know in the comments. I'd love to get into a huge comment debate on Group Love's albums. So comment below. Other than that, guys, I'm going to head to bed. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe, leave me a comment, hit the like button, do all the things that every YouTuber says to you. And I will see you guys tomorrow.